Welcome to another movie plot and enjoy the memories. It's set in the small town of Hayesville at the once successful restaurant of Willy's Wonderland. Inside a family wearing the blood splattered merchandise is being chased around the abandoned building by an unseen force. The husband suddenly dragged away leaving only one survivor who bears witness to her mother being violently devoured. Years later a mysterious man's car breaks down outside of Hayesville and he notices that he's been targeted by a spike strip. The unnamed janitor decides to just consume his tins of soda and wait for a tow truck's assistance. The mechanic Jed gives the drifter a lift into town where he plans to scam him out of a few bucks. They pass on their way the local sheriff Eloise, taking into custody the teenager Liv who she caught earlier trying to set fire to Willie's Wonderland. The sheriff's also Liv's adopted mother and handcuffs her to the radiator to keep her safe, before returning to the police station where she plans to wait out the entire night with Deputy Olson. Meanwhile the stranger is being conned out of a thousand bucks for four new tires the tow truck and a made-up problem with the computer chip. Since he only has credit cards and the machines out of order Jed says that the outsider can just work the dead off instead, and gets on the phone to someone to say that he's got another one. The two go down to Willie's Wonderland where its owner Tex meets them outside, and requires a single night of janitorial duties performed in exchange for damages paid in full. Sounding too good to be true, the janitor gives a deep stare into the Willie sign's dead eyes before agreeing to the terms. We hear Jed say good luck under his breath as Tex and the janitor enter to a mess that would take days to clean up. Eight animatronic mascots sit immobile on stage including the ringleader Willie the Weasel. The restaurant's owner says to help himself to shirts whenever he needs and only that the place was shut down because a few children were hurt by the machines. He leaves telling the janitor to make sure he takes regular breaks and that he'll be back in the morning, then locks him inside and leaves telling Jed that he doesn't like to hear a grown man scream. The moment they're alone the animatronics begin acting up with anticipation, but the janitor just ignores their movements and begins his impossible task. He militaristically cleans and tidies up the entire facility including the kitchen in which he stores his endless supply of sodas. Every hour he takes a 15-minute break to drink another can and recharge, as well as blow off steam on a pinball machine that he finds in the back and restores. Meanwhile Liv's busted out by her best friend Kathy who uses her hairpin to unlock the cuffs. All of her friends including Kath's boyfriend Bob have come to help burn down Willie's Wonderland. Inside the restaurant the first animatronic to attack is Ozzy the ostrich but it doesn't expect the offering to fight back. The janitor easily beats Ozzy to death with a mop handle then rips out his grease-covered spine. After piling up the remains and duct taping his wounds, the janitor has another break and returns to work focusing on the graffiti covered bathroom. He cleans it in a matter of minutes when the animatronics turn themselves on as a distraction and one slips away into the bathroom. When the janitor goes to inspect it he's attacked by Gus the gorilla, who he manages to defeat with a few wallops from a nearby plunger. He then curb stomps Gus into a urinal to finish him off, leaving the bathroom in need of another cleaning and more bags by the door. He stares down Willie once again, when his alarm goes off indicating that it's time for pinball soda and taping up his ribs. Just then the kids arrive at Willie's Wonderland and begin dousing the outside walls in gasoline. When Aaron's about to set it on fire Liv realizes there's a stubborn janitor inside that refuses to leave. She breaks inside through the vents to get him out, but is chased by Artie the alligator into a fairy-themed room of the restaurant. It's haunted by Sarah the siren who attacks Liv with blinding fast speed as her screams are heard by everyone. The janitor goes searching for her but gets tackled to the ground and warned that they need to leave, but he just ignores Liv and returns to work as the animatronics return to the stage. Liv's friends climb onto the roof to find another way inside, when Bob calls out Chris for simping over Liv and gets tackled through the floor causing the whole group to land inside the restaurant. They rise up against the machines but the janitor prevents them as to not cause further mess to clean up. While the janitor cleans the kitchen Liv explains the true story of Willie's Wonderland and the serial killer who owned it. Jerry's employees were part of his satanic cult who would murder unsuspecting families and eat them. When the police finally raided the restaurant the eight transferred their souls into the animatronics to escape. None of the teens know why the townspeople keep sacrificing tourists to them but they think it's because of a deal they made with the devil. The janitor ignores all of this when Willie turns on and begins singing a song about six little chickens being killed by a weasel. Suddenly Nighty the Knight impales Aaron with his sword and the terrified teens all scatter to different rooms. Liv remains to fight Nighty while the janitor just ignores her as he's on his much needed break. Dan runs into a seizure inducing room and is stalked around and played with by Sarah and Tito the turtle. He's mauled to death in the foam pit while Chris hides in the arcade and calls the sheriff for help. Already knowing about the sacrifices she's willing to let all of the teens die for their stupidity, but upon hearing that lives there she takes the rookie Olsen and goes to rescue them. When his breaks over the janitor kills his third of the eight when he beheads Nighty with his own sword. Inside the super happy fun room where the cult drank the Kool-Aid, 
Kathy and Bob have snuck away to begin fooling around, when Artie the alligator attacks them mauling Bob beneath her. Kathy's unable to escape the locked room before the janitor and Liv enter to find them both dead and Artie chowing down. The janitor swiftly kills the gator by giving him some ground and pound then ripping out its stomach through its mouth. Elsewhere the sheriff and deputy are approaching so she decides to fill the rookie in on the situation. Tex originally tried to have Willie's Wonderland demolished, but the animatronics killed the contractors and continued murdering people around Hayesville. No one else would go near it so Tex Jed and the sheriff decided to make a deal, to deliver the cult out of towners to feed on if they stay away from the locals. A young Liv was among the victims found the next morning after her parents were killed, so a guilty sheriff adopted her and has been trying to stop her from going anywhere near Willie's Wonderland ever since. Inside Chris has been found hiding in the arcade by Cammy the Chameleon and tries to negotiate with her. The janitor and Liv arrive but they witness Cammy use her elongated tongue to instantly snap Chris's neck. Just then the janitor's alarm goes off so he gives Liv a knife to defend herself while it's time for his regular recharge. She holds Cammy off for a full 15 minutes until the janitor's break finishes and he rejoins the fight. He drags the animatronic through the restaurant punching out Sarah and Tito on his way past. When he reaches the door Eloise enters shotgun in hand and makes the janitor drop the bag before kneeling. She apologizes to the silent Willie for the trouble the janitors caused him, and makes her deputy zip tie him under the threat that his whole family will be in danger if he doesn't. They drag Liv away while leaving the drifter to be killed by the returning Cammy and Sarah. With a kick of the jukebox the music starts and the janitor uses no hands to defeat both robots by breaking their necks. Evan's tasked with taking Liv home while the sheriff waits outside of Willie's Wonderland until morning. When pulled up to discuss the morality of what they're doing, the deputies dragged out of this patrol car by Tito and mauled to death in the street. Liv tries to use the shotgun on him but the turtles preemptively emptied the weapon, so she just beats him to death with it instead. She returns to the restaurant to help the janitor who still continues to clean despite five dead teenagers. Willie's standing lifeless on stage when the janitor takes out the trash to the surprise of the sheriff. She forces him back inside at gunpoint but Willie's now up and about and with one fell swoop rips Eloise in half. The final showdown begins in which the janitor is quickly outmatched by the speedy Willie and disposed of in the ball pit. Outside the sun's risen and Jed returns with the repaired car which he thinks is now his. He meets Tex who's waiting to see the damage that the animatronics have left and finds the chain already removed. The determined janitor returns from his spherical grave to turn his remaining sodas into a makeshift flail, and combines his broken mop with duct tape into a billy club. He confronts Willie again and this time beats him to within an inch of his life before ripping off his weasel head. When Tex and Jed enter they find the place completely clean with the animatronic threat destroyed. The janitor puts on his gear before giving the boys a very disappointed look on his way out. He receives his keys and praise from Tex, before being met at the front door by Liv who's only just now getting back. Without anywhere else to go, she accompanies him to the next adventure while sharing in his carbonated ambrosia. The janitor leaves having not said a single word the entire movie, and running over the penultimate animatronic Tito who is recovering from Liv's beating. Meanwhile Tex and Jed are overjoyed with the eradication of the cultists, and start discussing plans to reopen Willie's Wonderland into a steakhouse called Texas Turf. Having been thrown away in the trash but not yet killed, Sarah decides to go out with a bang by lighting a rag in the boys' fuel tank. And the movie ends. You locked the wrong guy up in here. He's not trapped in here with them. They're trapped in here with him. 